Hey everybody, it's Jedi. I thought I'd shoot a little video of how to tie the Ursac knots again before I go outside. So I'm going to show you how to tie the Ursac to a tree. But first, I wanted to give you a little refresher on how to tie the knots. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I'm not going to do it over and over again. I've got another video out there that belabors the point for 15 or 20 minutes showing you how to tie the knot. So this is just a quick refresher. So if you see me do this right now and you say, wait, what? I don't understand what's going on. Go watch the other video where I go over it and over it and over it and over it again until you're sick of it. Trust me. <laughs> but I have here the Ursac Almighty. Um, I sprayed this little radioactive uh, symbol on it to identify it as my wife's. Um, I have a biohazard symbol on mine. It just helps us tell whose is whose and it also helps us know which ones are ours when they're hanging from a tree with other ursacs or in a bear box with other ursacs. So I decided to use this one uh, because it has a white cord. The other video I shot uh, has the black cord. That's the, uh, the ursac uh, major XL. So we have our cords, we have our ursac. Normally you're going to tighten up your, your ursac. You're going to put what they call a surgeon's knot, which is basically a double overhand knot. So you know, single overhand knot, just like you're about to tie your shoelaces, but then do it again. So you put it through twice. So you can see it's simply a double overhand knot. You pull that nice and tight. You get it all nice and neat. Make sure it's not all twisted up on each other, on itself. Uh, at least I like to do it that way. It seems to allow you to get it much tighter. I'm not going to go into a lot of... Um, you can see that there. I'm not going to go crazy tying this all tight like I would uh, if I'm going to tie it to a tree. But now I've got my loose ends here. So in order to do that special knot that comes out, the slip knot, you simply take one end and you create a loop. Okay? The short part goes on top like that. Okay, you can see that? Short part on top. All right, now I'm gonna hold that down. I'm gonna pick up the loop and I'm gonna reach through it with my fingers. And I'm gonna grab the long end and I'm gonna pull that long end through the loop. And that's it. And now I've got, a, I've got a slip knot that will slide up and down, like thus, up and down the long section, okay? And it'll come out just like that. It's like a magician's trick, right? <laughs> so one more time, take the short end, lay it on top of the, of the loop. And then pick up the loop and from the back side here, reach through, grab the long end, and pull it through. And then just tighten the knot and then that, that will slide up and down. Okay, you can see that? That'll slide up and down and it'll tighten it up. And again, it comes out quickly. So once you've done this a few times, uh, you can do this very quickly. You know, I can do it like that. I'm done. I've got my, my loop there. It just becomes second, it's like tying your shoes, you know, once you've done it a bunch of times, um, it just becomes second nature. So I did my two loops there. And then the idea is we're going to go to the tree, we're gonna wrap this around the tree, and we're going to put one loop over the other loop, but not all the way down. It's going to stop, here, let me lengthen that up. Okay, this loop will go over the other loop, but it's gonna stop at the knot. It's not gonna go past the knot like that. It's gonna stop at the knot, and then I'm gonna tighten it up. I'm going to tighten up this one around it so it's kind of like choking it off. So there, so I've, I've got this one strangling the other one. Now this, this will slide off, as you can see. I can slide that off because it's above the knot on the other loop. The trick here, and this is why this works, is the carabiner stops that from sliding off. I've got my carabiner. If I put that through that loop like that, now I can tighten this one up. And I've got it all nice and tight. You see, it looks like a big mess of knots, right? It's a big mess, but this won't come out, okay? I don't care, a bear, a grizzly, a black bear, no animal is going to pull that out, okay? Because you've got this carabiner preventing that, that uh, loop from, from pulling through, okay? So again, that's the, that's the key here, right? Once I remove that carabiner, now there's nothing to prevent that loop from coming through, and I pull those apart, and I've got the little knot there, that comes out. i got the little knot there, that comes out, and I'm done. So that's all there is to it. Let's go outside, and I'll show you how it works on a tree, okay? Let's go. Out here in a tree in our yard, you're not going to find trees like this very often in the woods. Oftentimes, you're just going to see a trunk. It just goes up, and you don't even have any branches now. 
So let's pretend that this is the main trunk of the tree. And I'm going to tie it around here and use this branch to prevent the rope from sliding down. So I have, I have my sack and I have my loops tied. So this, this becomes difficult when this is heavy. I just have some towels in here to bulk it up. But when this is heavy, this is not, this is not easy. So a couple things you could do. One is you can brace it, brace it against your body, and then you have the cords, and you can you know work with the cords. Another thing is if you have another branch available, if you're lucky enough, uh, you could hoist it up there and get that in the position, and then work on it. Uh, so I'll show you how that would work here. So I've got my loops. I'm gonna now. Luckily, I'm tall. I'm gonna throw that loop over that branch. Oops, I almost pulled out. Sometimes a loop will pull out. Uh, you can prevent that by putting your carabiner through it until you're in position. You got everything good to go. So there's my my one loop. Here's my other loop. So I'm putting those loops through each other, and I'm going to tighten that one loop around this one, and then I'm going to put the carabiner through that one, and now I can tighten that one. So now the air sack is good to go. And again, sometimes I'll even leave it sitting on the branch just to get it up higher. And also, if, it, if I find it hanging in the morning, then I know something knocked it down. So that's one way to do it now. When you come back in the morning, obviously, you just pull that off. And then these should just pull apart like that. You get your bag down, and these will, these will pull out just like that. So there you go. Let's do a narrower tree over here. So again, ignore... Ignore the branches here. Just pretend this is a tree about this much in diameter, this big in diameter, and we need to tie it around the trunk of the tree. We don't have a branch coming off the side. So all you're gonna do, tie your loops. Okay, you got my two loops. And again, you're gonna brace it again, brace it against your body, bring the loops around, tighten one loop around the other, Put your carabiner through the other loop and then tighten that one up. Now, you may be worried that this is going to slide down the tree. Unless it's a super smooth tree, like a birch tree, it's not going to slide down. It's, you know, it's going to have bumps and knots and things that are going to keep that from sliding down. You know, the bear could work it down, I suppose, if they really wanted to. But another thing you can do if you want it tighter against the tree is you could take your, your rope, twist it around like this into a loop, and then stick a, stick a branch through there. And now it's you know it's tighter against the tree. You've taken up the slack with a with a branch. You just have to stick you know a couple of sticks through through that hole, and that'll hold it up higher so it's not all slack and hanging down like that. And the last idea I'll show you. Pull the carabiner out. These should just pull apart. Oops. There we go. So the last idea. Sometimes you have to get creative depending on the type of tree, what, what if any branches you have coming off the side. This is about the biggest diameter tree you would ever want. Probably something smaller than that, because remember, the cords have to get all the way around the tree. <laughs> so, I mean, I could probably, I mean, barely get those to work. That would be tough, though. I mean, I'd be operating without being able to see what I was doing, or you need something else to help you. So, another thing you could do, again, imagining that this is just the tree and there's no, uh, or few other branches, I could say, all right, I'm going to tie it around here. But I could also say, well, there's another branch here. Maybe I can take up the slack by going around that branch. Or if come on this side, or I could throw the one rope, pull the one cord around, and then say, well, I've got a lot of slack. Maybe I can even make it around this other branch over here. So I could potentially go around a second branch if I wanted to. This one's a little, be a little bit of a stretch, but you can make that work. So, or maybe around this one. Right? So I could do that so it's not, because if I do it here, it's going to be hanging down here. But if I do it on that one, it's going to take up more of the slack and the bag will be up higher on the tree. So you just have to kind of, you know, look at what, you're, what, what kind of trees you have available, what kind of branches come off the side. Um, and I always look for something that's, like that one over there is about as big around. So maybe you know, six to eight inches in diameter. So you can get the cord around. Some of the uh, ursacs have longer cords than others. That's another thing you want to uh, be aware of. And you can you can tie your knots uh, 
lower to take up more slack. So if I have, let's go back to this tree. Maybe I go this way if I can, if it's not too heavy. And I say, wow, I've got a lot of slack. I can retie my knots so that they're lower down on the cord. So I don't have quite as much slack. And this may take, you know, you may have to play around with this a couple times until you figure it out. Whoops. Until you get the right length where that where that loop should be. So you go around like that, and that's that's a little better. I don't, I don't have as much slack uh, because I have more of the cord you know, hanging off the end. So again, you just got to kind of go. But don't be afraid to just go around the tree and be done with it. You can just go around a tree with your ursac, and it'll be fine, even if there's a lot of slack like this. Okay, you want it up higher, obviously, but. I've never had a problem where it slid down the tree. <laughs> well, there's usually enough friction with the bark and, like I said, knots and things in the tree. And also, as I showed you, you could come around here. Once this is tied off, you could then... So again, holding the bag with my body, putting one loop through the other one, locking the carabiner in there. So I've got a ton of, ton of slack here, obviously. So I could, as I showed you before, take that up with a stick Twist that around a couple times, put a stick through here, that'll, that'll hold the bag up higher so it doesn't slide down the, the tree with all that slack. So anyway, different ways to do it, um, just experiment with it, and you'll find a, a method that works for you, and you'll get the hang of it before you know it. Okay, one last idea. Sometimes it's hard to get around a tree because you can't see, you know, both lengths of cord are the same length, and you go around the tree and you're trying to figure, <laughs> see what you're doing. So another idea is to make the lengths of cord un uneven. You can pull one side through the ursac, pull the other cord out. Because it's just it's one cord, obviously. It feeds all the way through, all the way around. So I could make the cords uh, very uneven, like this. So I got one really long one. So i got my loop. another loop much shorter you know it's half the size but the advantage there is now I have a long end that I could bring around and see what I'm doing so I got now I've got them both up here up front so now I can do the same thing I can come in here tighten that up and put my carabiner through and everything's right here right in my face and I'm not reaching around trying to see what's going on, on the other side of the tree uh, so that's another option for you so that's that. Just things to think about. Bye. Thanks for watching.